Name the arc made by the given angle. All right, so I'm given these pictures and there's ways that you can name arcs, okay? An arc in a circle is basically, if you were to look at the outside of the circle, if I were to go from A to B, I could name that arc, arc AB. But what if I add all these different letters and what if I want to be more specific? Like for example, if I were to say arc AC, which way am I going? Do I care about the right side, A, B, C, or A, D, C? Well, I can name these guys. Like if I want to go, if I want this portion of the circle, right? And I want to name that arc, I would call that arc, and here's my arc symbol, arc A, D, C. If I wanted just this one, which is called a minor arc, because it only involves two dots, I would call that arc BC or arc CB. So, you know, by calling this arc BC, I know that I'm going right from B to C and I'm not taking this long way around. So that's how you can name the arcs. So when I'm looking at this guy right here, the name of the arc made by the angle F, Q, E, here's F, here's Q, here's E, well, I have three dots on my circle, but I'm going straight from F to E. So there's two names for this one. I can either call it F, E or E, F. I'm not including D because I'm only going in this short route to get from F to E. I'm not including the whole circle over here. Similarly, angle one is between I and H and I don't care about J. So I can either call this high or I can call this I. Eh. Either way, I'm not going to include the J. So when I, I'm reading these, I'm looking at the letters and that's kind of tell me, telling me the direction that I'm going in which part of the circle that I care about. Okay, so that's how I name arcs using angles.